Okay, this is my first attempt at um, trying to create this video where we're going to make an animation using imported uh, assets into Flash. So I want to show you what I got here. Uh, first of all, I've got this little video. And um, the video is of uh, us playing at the fountain. You can see these are my kids. They're running around. So I took this little video with a handheld camera, and um, I'll just show you here. So the video is this video right here, okay? And what I did was I imported it into Photoshop, and here it is in Photoshop in, um, in layers. And you can see I've got the video in here. 197 um, layers. Don't worry, we're not going to work with 197 images. I don't expect this to be that intense. So let me show you how I got this in here. It's actually pretty easy. Um, I'm going to save this and then we'll open it up later. Okay, I want that saving. All right, close that out. And I'll show you what you can do. You say File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. And you go find your small video file. There it is. And the first thing it'll do is say, do you want to import it from beginning to end? Well, it'll be, too many, it'll be too big if I do that. Also, I could limit it to every two or every three frames, which is what I should have done on mine. And then um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to I want to start it at this part right here, where he jumps up into the air, and I get a little animation of his him jumping in the air. So I say limit to every three frames, and then I click on um, I've advanced I've already advanced my playhead here. And then I'll click on select range only, and it says I have to hold down the shift key while moving the slider. So I'll hold down the shift key, and I'll just move the slider forward a little bit and there he goes he's jumping and I'm done All right, and click OK and I end up with 22 frames of animation and this is great in fact this might even be better than what I had before because um, you don't need that many frames to do this so what I can do is I can start picking now which frames I want to animate with and I'm probably gonna want to do every other two frames. So here I am just taking a look at which frames might be good enough to work with. There's a jump and here I might want some more information. So I might slow down to every frame here and grab every frame in this short burst. All right, and there it is. Uh, and we'll be back in the next video.